morning. This is Robert. And uh got a little ahead of myself here with uh, some of the updates on this particular piano. I'm still on the Chickering uh, Grand. And uh, I wanted to show real quick, uh, I think the last video basically was an intro, if I remember correctly. Well, since then, obviously, I've sanded um, grain field and uh, stained this piano. So uh, basically, what you're looking at is uh, we're at the point of uh, sealer. So sealer was applied, and now I'm sanding the sealer to get the the slick finish. Um, I real quickly show you the color this piano turned out. It's a real nice color. Let's see if we can hear some light. Um, real pretty color. Um, it's a walnut veneer, and the customer wanted the piano uh, back in a color very similar to what it started out as being, maybe just a tad dark, and that's actually what I ended up getting out of it. Um, and just a, a quick walk around the cabinet there. So uh, you can see even here with these parts, the legs and and the bench, we're able to get that color back from it. So, but what I want to show here, and uh, just for those that don't know, I, I do have a video, um, kind of a short. Um, uh, videos showing what uh, what grain filling is. Just do a search for grain filler or grain filling. I believe it was on a Mason and Hamlin uh, grand that I did that on, and I and I show what what the purpose of grain filling is and and what I do to to grain fill. And that's that's one of the steps that's involved in getting a closed pour finish. Um, I do both open and closed pour finishes. Most of my customers want the closed pour finish because it returns the piano back to what it looked like when it was new. But in some cases, uh, to save some money, or if they want a particular look, they'll opt for the open pour. But in this case, we're looking at a closed pour after the uh, sealer and sanding the sealer. So you see two areas here. Uh, the rougher area or the area that um, you don't see the striations. That, this area has a striation, this one doesn't. Uh, the one that doesn't, the one you see my hand tapping here, is the area that has been machine sand. And that's basically to level out the uh, finish, the sealer that has been put. I use a lacquer sealer that's been put on. And uh, after that, I want the finish very smooth, which the machine has gotten pretty smooth. Um, I used a, a uh, fine sandpaper on the sander, but I uh, I even want it smoother. So what I'll do is, and I, I've used different things over the years, but right now I'm using a sanding sponge. I really find these nice. And um, so I take the sanding sponge, and with the uh, and most of you guys, if you're watching this and you rebuild or refinish pianos, you know what I'm talking about. You. Uh, you basically sand with the grain, and that's what you see here. So you you know, looking at the striations from the sanding, that the grain is going in that direction. And that's what I've done here. But I stopped in sanding to shoot this quick little video to, sh to show um, really the, the last two steps, machine sanding and hand sanding. So I'll go over the entire piano this way. And after that, I'll shoot some more paint. And that's going to give me um, the final finish. And uh, and in those final coats, I'll choose the luster that the customer wants. And on this particular piano, they want a satin. And most pianos, I do satin. Uh, some semi-gloss and, and then others high-gloss. And I've got, actually, I've got some of each coming up. I've got a Steinway coming up. I think it's a Model L that'll be semi-gloss. And then I have... Uh, one Baldwin, uh, I actually believe it's an L, and um, it'll be going a high gloss. So you get a chance to see all three lusters. But in any case, I just wanted to, to do a real quick um, update on the piano, and I just figured this would be a good chance to, to show this step because I have not before. So if you have any comments, I'd love to hear them. Um, 
if you got to this video through just a regular search and ended up on YouTube, it is Beavers Piano TV on YouTube. And um, really the quickest way to get a hold of me is a tweet, um, actually. And if you have a Twitter account, it's twitter.com at Beavers Piano. I uh, do have a form. I don't put a whole bunch on there now just because i um, just been very busy. Um, but the form is pianos.proboards.com, and um, that would uh, that would be about it. I do have a Facebook uh, uh, account. I don't post a whole lot. A lot of my stuff from um, YouTube goes there, so I really don't post a lot there. So uh, really, Twitter and YouTube are the best places to comment, and I can get back to you. So in any case. Um, uh, post comments if you'd like. If you have any questions, do so as well. And um, just check back from time to time. I'll have some more stuff posted. Thanks.